One of the hardest things about YouTube is this, talking to the camera. And it's one of the big reasons people don't start a channel, because, you know, it's kind of a... Uh, it's weird. Talk about how to make it natural. Some real practical tips you can do right now. Oh, I'm sweating. Devil, do you remember the first time you tried to film yourself? Oh, it was the worst. <laughs> Washington DC with all these tourists behind me. The moment they saw that gorilla pod, I was a victim. <laughs> that was not an easy scenario. I still remember the first time I decided I was gonna go from behind the camera to in front of the camera and I was so nervous. All of a sudden the room was like 10 times hotter. I couldn't remember any of the things I wanted to say. I had to say it like 20 times and each time I said it, it just felt less and less natural. I was definitely not born natural to this. So here's some things that I've picked on over the last four years of doing YouTube that have really helped me to become more natural with the camera. And the first one would be to do something you're comfortable with already. Do some activity or something that you already know well so it kind of just like distracts you from the actual talking to the camera. For example, for me, rollerblading. I've done this so much that I'm, I'm kind of like on autopilot with the rollerblading and it helps the, the, the thoughts flow more and makes it easier to talk to the camera instead of just like setting the camera somewhere and then the pressure is on. That's all you're doing is just talking to this camera. Step but we chose the wrong day to come to the skate park. Oh, it's so hot and sweaty. Let's <laughs> get back to the office. Back to the air conditioning. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna... Uh, good thing I don't have any important meetings today. If you've ever been to Canada, our pride and joy is Tim Hortons. That's correct. At least according to Depo. Although now it's owned by Americans. Yeah, it is still. Yes. Hi, can I get... Um, medium uh, ice cap for light burning. We deserve these. We do. The biggest thing, whoop! The biggest thing I think you can do uh, in order to get more natural with the camera is stop thinking about the camera as a camera and think about it as a person. The camera is a person. What that does in your brain is that you're no longer recording yourself. Now you're just having a conversation with a person, with an audience. And that way it's a lot more natural because again, recording yourself, talking to yourself like I am right now is very weird. It is not natural at all. But if I think about you guys as, as an, as a person, like I'm hanging out here with you, just having a conversation, you're asking me about YouTube, this is natural. Another tip that you can do to make it more natural is add an object or an action to your talking. And that makes it a lot more natural because then you're not just, again, just talking to the camera, you're kind of doing something as, as you're speaking. Like for, in this case, I'm, I'm not actually, I have no reason to set this up, I'm just, it just makes it look more natural if I'm actually like doing something instead of just being like, Hey guys! And it can be as simple as wheeling over in a chair or fixing your hat. It just distracts you, the audience, and me from how not normal, not natural this is. And sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes it's just the location is very awkward to be talking to a camera by yourself. It's really easy to do it. For example, in the comfort of my office here at home where you're most comfortable. But then if you had to vlog in a quiet airport with like 30 to 100 people sitting around and everybody can hear what you're saying, it's really difficult to vlog. So sometimes you just gotta change the location and you will be talking much more naturally because you're just way more comfortable. This time I actually am doing something that I needed to be doing, switching this mount for this mount so that GoPro could be a little bit further ahead so the props don't. I don't know if you guys care about this kind of stuff, but I like tinkering. What you can do beforehand is 
plan. If you have a plan, you have a script, you have a good idea of what you're gonna be talking about, you've let it sit in your head for a bit, it's so much easier and more natural to deliver. If you don't know what you're talking about, for example, if you had to read someone else's script or talk about, you know, if I had to talk about astrophysics or something like that, it would be virtually impossible for me to do it naturally. That takes like a lot of skill. That's like, that's an acting skill right there. But if, uh, you know, if I had to talk about FPV drones, ask me a question and I could talk about it forever because it's something that I'm really into. I already know that stuff. So plan your video out. That's gonna help a lot. And sometimes you just gotta hit that record button. For whatever reason, you get flustered or scared or nervous. And, and you just gotta you just gotta hit that record button, start recording, think about what you're trying to communicate to the audience, and then just go for it in your own time. There's no rush, it's just data on a memory card. There's no pressure. Uh, so yeah, sometimes it just helps to hit the record, even though maybe you're not feeling it in that moment. That's okay, that happens. Just hit that record button. Go for it. I find the longer you wait in those scenarios, the worse it gets and the worse your delivery is gonna be. The more unnatural <laughs> this whole thing is gonna be if you're just like super flustered, crazy, like I can't do this. So uh, yeah, just hit record, just go for it. It happens. Got the new mount on there. Thank you Rotorite for uh, sending this over. I appreciate it. Now, maybe you're saying, Maddie. I do all of those things. I try all of those things. I'm already doing them and it's still not working. I'm still not natural. Well, it's just practice. It's gonna take time. I felt so uncomfortable the first year of YouTube and then I got a little bit more comfortable the second year, but I was still kind of uncomfortable. Third year, I was like a little bit better. Now I'm like, I'm much more comfortable with the camera. It doesn't get me too flustered, but even after doing this for four years, I still get flustered at times. I'm like, I just don't want to do it right now. It's not gonna, it's not gonna come out natural at all. Speaking to the camera is just like any other skill. It's something that you're gonna have to take time and learn and cultivate like, like a plant, except this one is fake because I can't take care of plants clearly in this office. Uh, it's gonna take time. It might take years. Some of us are more natural, like a Peter McKinnon. He's just like born to be on camera. And then some of us, maybe you're like me, where doesn't feel natural at all. And it just takes a while, a lot of practice. Doing those practical things we talked about, but in the end, it's just gonna be practice. It takes a little while. Beppa, how do you feel uh, on camera nowadays? Do you feel more natural or is it still really awkward? Getting there, getting there. A, so a lot more natural. I feel like you're more natural in my videos than you are in your videos because... Less pressure. And you're talking to me versus... That's true. When it's just you by yourself and the camera. Should I put like pictures of everyone's faces on my camera? <laughs> like a little audience, like a mock audience on the camera? You should put my face behind the camera, like a little like <laughs> pop-up thing so you can just pretend like you're talking to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it one day. Don't worry, it happens to all of us. It is not a natural thing. It's weird to be talking to a camera and you're just gonna have to learn it and practice it. Start with the easy scenarios of your comfort spaces and then go out a little bit more. Then by the time you've vlogged in an airport, then doing this in an office is like, that's nothing. You're gonna be totally natural. So yeah, push the boundaries a little bit, practice and It'll be fine. What you guys don't see is in between all of those cuts, I've been moving these lights, putting down sh these shades up and down and trying to relight every scenario. But with these practical tools, practical tips, uh, I think hopefully it looked natural. I don't know, you decide. Either way, eventually you'll get used to it and you won't feel like a total idiot like if you were wearing this everywhere. That's what it's gonna feel like at first, but it'll get better. All right, bye.